4,000 years ago, Hammurabi ruled Babylon, and we have preserved on, on a carved pillar and some clay tablet the prices he set for everything. If a man hire a wagon with driver for a day, it shall cost 180 gua. And if he just wanted the wagon, you have to spend 40 of them. A good wagon? A bad wagon. A good driver, a bad wagon. No, no. The price was set by law, by Hammurabi. The medieval theologian Thomas Aquinas thought there should be fair prices established for everything. The obvious question is, what is the fair price? <coughs> Wrong question. There is no such thing as a fair price, because some of us are prepared to pay more than others, and that is because we're all different, value is in the mind, and some of us value things more than others. What price tells you is how much someone is prepared to pay for it. If I value this bottle of wine more than £10, I am prepared to pay £10 for the bottle of wine. A teetotaler would probably pay nothing at all for that bottle of wine. Value is in the mind. We're all different. We all value things differently. And the price we're prepared to pay differs accordingly. What is the fair price of this delightful little pot? Is it greater? or less than the price of this one. It depends which part you like. You'll be prepared to pay more for the one you value more. That is the point. Prices convey information about what goods are available and how much people are prepared to pay for them. Paul Samuel tells of the kingdoms of Zig and Zog, both hit by famine. In Zig, the king fixed a fair price for food. And when it ran out, the dying people blessed their dying king for his fairness. In Zog, there were no fixed prices, and so the price of food rocketed. Merchants released food from their stores and made vast profits. Prices were so high that people from hundreds of miles away brought food into Zog, seeking out those high prices. And at the end of the famine, the people were thinner, and they were poorer, and they were alive. This is what prices do. F.A. Hayek tells the story of a tin mine in Africa that ran dry. Now, what happened was that less tin came to market, the price went up, people started using less of it. Because the price of tin was now high, the people brought marginal mines into production and put more tin onto the market. So without anyone even needing to know that a mine had run out, people acted to use less of it and to produce more of it. And if you shut off that process by setting prices by law, you deny that information and you prevent it redressing the, the wrong. It, it prevents shortages being solved. Price conveys information. It enables us, above all, to allocate resources efficiently. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.